good morning and welcome to our channel if you're uh, coming back again as a regular viewer thank you very much if you're new to the channel thank you very much so in this uh, series what we plan to do is show you the um, family bathroom refurb in this what is the a loft conversion and um, single store extension um, job that we've got going at the moment so if you haven't uh, already seen the loft conversion we're up to about episode 25 4 something like that Plas that's all plastered up there it's done so we're now moving on to the first floor because we have to drop the ceilings so if you want to look at that go onto the channel we think it's interesting but of course we're biased aren't we so we'll go upstairs and have a look now and see where we are with this uh, family bathroom and we'll tell you what we're going to do for the day good morning mick good morning mick so first job let me just come back a little bit so this is it if you see the loft conversion series you see we've already put this wall in that's done so there was a toilet there originally in fact i'll put some um a little bit of footage on if i can find it now so you can see what it looked like we've got the old uh, separate toilet situation going on right next to the bathroom so the door to the bathroom will be there this will be sectioned off here and then all this will be opened up into one big bathroom and it will be it'll be a very big bathroom huge pretty big as it is you could fit the toilet in here no worries as it stands anyway but it's gonna be even bigger so there we go so our first job is to take the radiator off we've already drawn the system down because we removed all the rads already for matt to do his skimming in there but enough of that so we're going to get this out we're going to we've moved everything we're going to get all this floor up we're just looking at the fact that because this wasn't originally coming up the plan originally was just to screw it all down um, and they're going to uh, they weren't having tile in they didn't know what they were doing anything, honestly so but the decision has been made to tile it uh, and then the decision was made to LVT it which is luxury vinyl so even though we sort of planned anyway to to get this up when it was going to be tiled and chipboard it all what we're going to do now is we're going to rip it all up because we've already bought the chipboard now and then we're going to uh what do you need my assistance right I'm... okay we we hadn't opened the uh, bleed valve on the radiator so when we entered the system this one had emptied fully so we had a bit of water so anyway that's gone so what we're going to do now um like i've already said going back to it now the we put the stud wall there because we knew um and we didn't worry about it because it was on top of a uh, a floor joist so i wasn't bothered obviously now there's an issue what we're gonna have to do i think is we're gonna have to take this floor up because that floor joist is right underneath the wall and then we're gonna have to just pack out put some good screws and fix and glue cut this out and then pack a timber under there against that one onto the existing joist and uh, and then pack it out enough so we can then get the chipboard back onto the edge so that's what we're going to do now because it's all got to come up we're going to denail it and check everything all right okay this is the uh this is the tea setup we've got, which is quite impressive. He's bought a Mick, tea. Mick, Mick, so I'd stop you. Yeah. Uh, just thought I'd check something. Uh, do you know this big hole? Uh, just yeah, we, we are, we're doing the scene again, ain't we? Well, if just you, check it. If you think it needs it, uh, it might have a bit of bit of bond and a bit of scrim tack that might sort it out. Uh, no. we buff, anyway, we can we can buff that out. That's another job. Right, so joking aside, I've just finished uh, clearing up the uh, the mess in the kitchen. Um, it looks like, in fact I'll show you now, the, where the waste pipes were for the bath, there's clearly been a leak, and where the bit of compo was, which I'll show you now, let's just turn my lights on, where the bit of compo was, it's been knocked out of this, when they've done all this waste, it's obviously solidified there, and you can see all the boards all, <coughs> all sort of rotten, and all the paper was black and everything, so... One of these wastes must have been leaking or one of the water feeds which we've now got our new ones onto there so anyway it's going to be done anyway so all mixed doing now is is before we put new board on it and because obviously tiling let me just pan back we're just putting straight it across the rafters and we've noticed just one in between mix arms there we've got one proud one is we reckon that's about eighth of an inch couple of mil too it's, high it's, it's fine from there it's fine that's fine there it's fine the, there behind the back. <laughs> And we also know when you're filming mistakes can happen and it is a good job the scene's coming down because I just missed my footing completely and uh, and and yeah did another hole in the ceiling and, and, and doctors have come here oh oh dear 
<laughs> you see, the trials and tribulations and pain we have to go through just to try and get footage for you guys to watch it on YouTube. It's painful, man. It's painful. <laughs> Well, what I was about high, to say was... Now, clumsy bastard number two, because number one... She's me. So anyway, what I was trying to say when I stepped forward and went through the ceiling was we know that these two here are lower. Don't know why, but they are considered to be lower. But they were all under the... Um, what was under the... Uh, what was there? Airing cupboard was in this corner. So, of course, back. you know. But that sat on the wall there. And it may be that there's just a bit of timber missing off the edge of that. But we'll have a look. Anyway, so I'll go and clean my mess up again. And uh, and we'll carry on and do that. Stop putting some floor down. What a prat. We're going to move on to insulation now. We've swept and hoovered all inside here. That's the top of, a, not the, of the chimney in there in the corner. So that's what that is. So we've um, got out as much as we can. We've cut this bit of copper off these tails. We've got out the wires that are no longer needed. For example, this feed and the shower cable, that's there. I can pull that up above the floor now. When the sparky comes back, I'm getting to uh, sort that out. Uh, make sure all these are down. Two reasons for sweeping in the floor. One, it just looks a lot more professional, even though it's coming down. If it wasn't coming down, fair enough. But I mean, yeah, why wouldn't you? Why would you leave all your rubbish in the floor? Put it in the skip. Um, and also, when we do set the ceiling down, at least we're not going to get face pulls of half ended bricks and which is pretty much what was there. So it's a good job it come down. And also any just bits of rubbish and bits of old insulation and what have you. So that's why we do it. And it just, again, it looks a lot more professional, doesn't it? When you're leaving the job clean, even though it's not going to be seen, it's just a lot more professional. So we've got some 100 mil uh, insulation now. We'll fill this, this floor with it. We'll get the stapler and staple it to the top. So when we do that scene, now it doesn't fall out. And then we will, uh, put the floor down after we've planed that one there which you've just said get the electric plane on there and then I'm going to get some timber which we've still got some of that old that good quality 3b2 left and I'll screw some on the side of there which is what we've had to do across there the rafters under that wall as I've already said to you so we've just screwed double at that point actually because the rafter tapers off that way so we'll fix it onto here notch over that put a pipe again and put it up level so that the floor goes in flat so if they do have, uh, I think it's LVT now, but if they did have tile, at least it's going to be a flat floor for the tiler. Well, let's crack on and get that done then. Bit of an update then. So we've um, we put all the, we we'll started putting the chipboard flooring down now. We've insulated between all the uh, floor joists. We've had to, as you can see there, we've had to put extra timbers on the side just to make it level. It's about a quarter of an inch there. So we've had to do that. And then we just uh, glue in and screw it. So as always, we use these Spax floorboard screws and that uh, foam adhesive. So I'll go all the way through. We'll probably get one more board down. That's cut, so we'll probably do that the first thing one because it's uh, you start to rain. It's as black as a bag in here. So uh, so yeah, I've had to put the lights on my camera and everything so we can see what we're doing. So what we'll carry on with that then, and uh, we'll do our last cut in the morning. I think we've had a. <sighs> absolute dog toffee of a day i've got to say today it's been a bit of a pain having to plane the floor down because i have put makeup all over there because it was low um it's just been a bit of a pain um and then chipboards um we thought we'd got enough to complete but when we got this one out again it was dark we didn't really see if i'm honest this isn't moist distant so it doesn't go we thought what's this not going together for that's why so i'm going to get another board we thought we'd got two spare but it was obviously the same ones we used upstairs which, we, which weren't moist resistant. So I'll get another one and a half of those or two of those tomorrow to finish this. And then I'll timber in that to make up that 900 this way, 1700 from there then to where that one comes. And that's what we'll be doing. So I'll go and do a bit of shopping and then we will see you in the morning. Okay then, good morning, late morning now because I didn't film anything. Uh, went shopping this morning, got some more chipboard, which I'll show you in a minute. And my next plan now is to go ahead and dab the the wall in for the shower and around the shower and all the stud work. Um, we've got a bit of a dilemma where we've got to obviously keep the shower corner square. So we've had to look at the ways of doing that and not worry about steps and things in the wall because then if I talked about yesterday, but if I just turn you around and show you what I mean. Chipboard's all in. I've set the laser up now and the laser's coming out to, to about there, which is about 30 mil. But at that end, I'm about 65 mil. So of course we've got concerns about the window reveal there and there being different. <coughs> However, the issue we've got 
is there's a pipe there, as you can see now, I've marked it on the floor, and I've had to pull the shower waste over this way to there to get away from it. So I can I can go minimum 65, 60, 65 mil there to get it away from that pipe that's in the floor, because we can't move it. It is what it is, we can't move it. Um, so that's what we've had to do. And also, I don't want to pull too far off this wall, as you can see there. I can just about get a dab on there, you know, it's a bit tight at the top. So it may be that we come to a point where we can get level as we can, and we might have to um, rake this back, cut it off maybe, and then bond that top bit in, even though we are trying to do the whole area in the green boards, moisture boards, but. So I'm gonna go ahead now and set this out. Come back a little bit so you can see. Uh, I'm gonna fill all this now and all this area in green boards. There's gotta be a stud there, so when I've dabbed that, and I've dabbed this square, I can then measure off this board to the face of the stud, and then minus, um, an add-on, sorry, the thickness of a plasterboard so I can get my 1700 shower tray in between the plasterboard. So I'll have a look at that now um, and then I may stick a bit of footage on maybe but uh, dabbing it but probably not I might just uh, show you when I'm done. Well, I haven't uh, filmed much as you can see we set some lights up so you couldn't see. So I've dabbed all that wall, dabbed that wall, dabbed across here, used bits that we got left because if you remember me talking about I've got this square now this wall if you look at it tapered in uh, and then out at the top so we've managed to dab that bit but that bit is too thin for dab so that now will be bonded in we've got to bond that because it tapers in too tight um, we managed to get where the window done as you uh, will know that the the new windows come into about there so that'll be the reveal of the new window now uh, no, mine to you there's where we're the new window, that block right there. So it is about here. But I dabbed that over just so I could get that around the window as well, just a bit easier. So that's all in now. Um, as you can see, obviously all the floors down um, and finished. We put that board up there, that's insulated. We've set the, um, where the fan's going, where the light was going in the shower. So that's all set. So tomorrow now we'll get this boxing in here, get that done. That'll get bonded by Matt tomorrow and this We'll get bonded by Matt or by us, either or. So we'll, uh, that's it, then we'll crack on now and um, we'll get cleaned up, ready for tomorrow. And we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. So, uh, Mick's back on the job today, which is great, because we can uh, crack on in the bathroom. He's gonna cut the mastic off the existing window and set the reveals, so we can get this uh, toilet wall plastered. And I'm gonna do the boxing um, on the right side of the shower. So, let's have a look at that. Good morning, Mick. Good morning. So at the minute we've got, you may or may not remember from, from the previous footage before, this is coming out, that's the new reveal, that one there and this one, and this is in stain. Um, in order for us to plaster this wall, we need to get, he needs to be able to set his beads on here. So all he's going to do, we're going to get this dabbed and come in enough just to dab back on after. I was going to explain it really well, we'll show you when it's done. But all we're going to do, we're going to sort of dab halfway so we can put a bead on. And then when, when it's finished, the brickwork's done, we can then dab from the remaining block work to the brickwork. And then the new window can go in. We're gonna set the sill as well and double board the head because it's uh, a big, massive timber lintel. But again, if you can remember from footage, and then we'll get this um, done. So Mick's just gonna level all that, cut it all out, and I'm gonna do this boxing. So there we are, bit of knocking and banging upstairs. The lads are here to do the lead flashing today, which is good. So we'll, uh, we're going to put a bit of a time lapse on, I think, with a little bit of music for you, just to see how we get on. Okay, just a bit of a bit of an update. So mix, cut this out now, and like I say, we've dabbed these on here, made sure they're square. Just enough now, we can still dab onto that part when we put the window in. Still dab onto that part when we put the window in. And then put the sill on. Obviously this one might not be used, it's a separate piece, but we'll put that on there now. That's been screwed onto there. So what Mick, Matt can do, Mick, Matt, Mick, Matt. What, too many M's? Mick, Mark, Matt, and me. Um, so we've got, um, 
put the beads around there now and it can skim this wall which means we can get the sanitary where we can get it plastered get it uh, painted or whatever we're going to do and then we can get um, get the sanitary wearing wash everything else so at least if we have our day with the window we can just carry on of course we're delayed because we're waiting for everything else to sort it for the roof materials etc so yeah that's what we have to do unfortunately so that's in there now and what we've done is is we have um, worked out that the customer wants four niches so we've done a 300 gap between each one that's what we're deliber deber deliberating about on the footage you would have seen so we've come down there now and the, there's one there one there and then one there one there and one there so it's not too low and that bottom bit just be uh, open so i'll put a center timber in there now just to stabilize that but these are, are 300 and what 330 centers so there's no need to put any center in there or any kind of bits opposite so i'm happy with that full piece of moisture board on there as well be more than solid so i'll do this return now but that is set at 950 to the timber so the non shower tray and leaves a 500 mil return which means you can start getting your beads on and cut your tile around etc we'll have to be more like 65 mil once it's um once that end is skimmed in and obviously you've got your board thickness on top of that as well so that's the plan but that's the shower as you can see now it's a 1700 by 900 shower tray in there which has worked out really well so we're sort of nearly ready for uh, for matt now oh and this wire is just uh, a one mil which we put in there because i want lights in the niches as well so there we are so we'll uh, leave the uh, time lapse footage there now i think i'll get this in we will get that finished and then at least we can uh, matt can get in and start finishing then he got get his bonding done um so all right that's it then we'll leave it there and when we're done and boarded i'll uh, i'll give you an update So we didn't show you much with regards to this stud work, but what we have done, that's now a fixed bit of plasterboard at the bottom and a fixed bit of plasterboard at the top. And what we have done, I'll put this on there because we're going to cut them out in the morning. Uh, we've actually made up some niches, which I'll, can, I'll show you just after this footage, which will be tomorrow now. Because uh, we've had a bit of a stop because the customer came and wants to put a cupboard in there, which is a great idea. So we're going to need to reconfigure that once we know what size the cupboard's going to be. But that's pretty much the opening there now anyway. We're going to put a piece at the top and that'll stay there to allow Matt to still do his ceiling, which isn't going to stop anything. And tomorrow I'll get the router out, um, the flush trim router, and just do around all the inside of the niches, what they're all done already. Uh, and that'll be ready then to be tiled. We've uh, knocked some plaster off there, the edging of the plaster, where it kicks out when you go into a corner, ready for Matt to bond. This is all rasped off, ready for Matt to bond. Um, all ready for Matt to bead, sorry. And this is all set, ready for him to bead. Uh, he'll bond that in tomorrow as I've already explained it tapers in because I wanted to get this corner square but I'm really happy the messing about and time I took is perfectly square so I'll sit nice for the tray and this has been put in square to that measures sound brilliant really happy so there we are then we are almost ready for for Matt as I just said we'll complete that tomorrow when we know what size the cupboard's going to be and then we are out of here then and we can leave it to Matt and we'll move back onto the uh, the main loft so this will probably be an episode and then the episode after that will be when we start getting the uh, plastering done i'll show you some of that and also when we start looking at getting the uh, the second fix done which is going to be a 1700 by 900 shower there you're going to have a bath a normal bath across there 700 by 1700 and then as you walk in the door door will open against there you're going to have a sink unit there and a toilet is going to be there and the towel is going to be there so it'll look quite a good it's done so we will see you 